The following is a presentation of News Channel 3 Sports. I'm Matt Filer, president of the Humboldt Crabs, and it's time for Crabs Corner. Crabs Corner on News Channel 3 is presented by Coast Central Credit Union, where belonging never felt better. And by Don's Rental. Just make one call to Don's Rental. Welcome back for another week of Crabs Corner. I'm Cameron Kramer. We wrap up the regular season on today's big show. And the Crabs were looking to wrap it up with a Far West win over the Athletics. We'll have highlights and reaction from the ballpark. And speaking of the Arcata ballpark, Crabs games won't be the same without a familiar face in the stands. We'll be joined by the legendary Louisa Osborne. This week's player profile can throw strikes but can't keep his fridge filled. And we'll have the final answer to our trivia question with a very special prize to give away. But first, we get started with today's action. Humboldt began the week with a pair of losses on Wednesday. They followed those up with a pair of wins against the Athletics. And today they had a chance in the final game of the regular season. Crabs looking to end July as the top team in the Far West League. Crabs up 1-0 in the third, and Kenny Smith dealing on the mound. He gets the Fontenetti's batter to swing and miss for strike three. Move to the fourth, and the Crabs defense helping out Smith. A shot to right field, but six foot four inch Bradley Zimmer is there for the jumping catch. Very next batter, and it's a play to left field this time. Nick Lotta not as tall, but the swag man makes up for it with an equally impressive jump. Crabs still up 1-0 in the fourth. Offense gets going in the fifth. Spencer Duggan at the plate, but he doesn't even have to swing. The throw to third is off, so Ryan Denton gets to take a leisurely stroll home. When Duggan finally gets to swing, he comes through. His grounder is too much for two athletics to handle. The Crabs go up 3-0 in the fifth. It's 9-1 in the ninth, and Will Soto on the pitch. He was clocked at 90 on the radar gun, and he gets the athletics batter to fly out. Not bad for a guy who usually plays third. Crabs get the sweep and the top seat in the Far West League playoffs. They win 9-1. After the game, Kenny Smith talked about his six shutout innings. It was good, you know, it was the last game of the season before playoffs start, and I had a good defense behind me today. I didn't strike a lot of guys out, so I got a lot of good plays behind me. They hit the ball pretty hard a couple times, too, so it was good, though. It was fun. Kenny did a great job. He's been, uh, you know, painting all year and a uh, true competitor out there. Uh, every time he goes out there, we got a great chance, and uh, he did it again today. Put a big zero up on the board, so, you know, hopefully he carries that intensity right into the playoffs. Well, joining me now in the locker room is a big part of the ballpark experience. You really can't go without, can't go to a game without seeing and hearing her. Louisa Osborne, also known as Lou, the neighborhood-friendly 50-50 girl. Lou, thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm like, happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, today was probably a bittersweet day for you. Five years with the Humboldt Crabs, and today was your last game, but you got to do some pretty cool things. You started the, the day out with able to throw out the first pitch. I think you knew about that, but I don't think you knew about this. You got a lifetime pass to go to Crabs games and your very own Crabs jersey. What was that moment like? What was today like? Um, oh my gosh, today was absolutely incredible. I didn't expect any of that. I mean, I expected to maybe get some flowers and a thank you from Matt and Randy, but to get all that in a jersey was incredible. I mean, I don't even, I don't cry in movies. I didn't cry in Passion of the Christ or The Notebook, but today I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I have my own Crabs jersey and a lifetime pass. Now I kind of have to come back because there's not many places you can wear this jersey and I don't plan on taking it off anytime soon, that's for sure. That's, that's very cool. You got that from the Humble Crabs today, but you've been getting things all season long. We have a video clip of it. You have it right here, but we have oh. a video clip of it. Uh, a nice fan gave you this the Lou 5050 action figure and you have it in your hand here tell us the story behind this oh well it was um pretty crazy I um was just selling tickets and then all of a sudden these little girls came up to me and they're like oh we have something for you and then usually when kids tell me that they had me a handful of peanuts asking for 50 50 tickets so I'm like okay whatever and then all of a sudden they came up and gave me this doll and said like oh this is yours we made it for you and we really love you and then I was just like Okay, I'm, I'm speechless. Thank you so much. It looks just like me. You don't see a lot of mixed Barbies out there, so I'm like, good job. I was happy. And it has a bucket, too. It's just got, missing some money. It's got everything. Well, the Cameron Kramer 50-50 action figure, that's still up for grabs, so if anybody wants to make that, feel free. <laughs> but uh, for you, you're a humble crab for five years. You helped the crabs for five years. Before that, you played basketball at HSU, a pretty good basketball player in your own right. What was that experience like playing for Humboldt State? Oh, that was just the best experience ever. I couldn't you know, ask for a better basketball experience. The community was incredible. My teammates were the best. Uh, my best friends are from the basketball team right now. And 
playing basketball has always been one of the things I loved, and to do it in this kind of setting with these kind of fans and with these kind of teammates, I, I couldn't have asked for a better experience. It's, it was awesome. I loved it. That's great. And Lou, something I guess we all, everybody wants to know, what's next for you? Well, right now I'm saving up and I'm trying to move to Austin with um, some of my family members. They live in Austin, Texas right now, and I'm trying to maybe pursue a career in maybe acting. And if that doesn't work out, then I'll try to survive any way I can. Apparently I'm good at ex extra stuff, so maybe I'll be an auctioneer if that doesn't work out. I'm pretty good at talking and convincing people to buy stuff, so at least I've heard. I think, you'd, uh, yeah, I think the proof is in the pudding for that. I think you'd be great as an actress or an auctioneer if, if, if need be. So very well. Five years with the Humble Crabs. What are some favorite memories? What are you going to miss the most? Um, well, the fans, the community, obviously I'm going to miss the most because it's not many people up here that all just, just all of them just seem to like me so much. And I'm not used to that. And it's incredible. And I have some great memories with the crabs. A lot of awkward ones. I fell through the bleachers way too many times. I remember uh, a few years ago I had a coconut bra for a Hawaii night and a four-year-old little boy seemed to be obsessed with them so in front of the crowd he kept coming up and grabbing my coconut bra and I'm just like alright anybody else want 50 50 tickets uh, somebody grab their kid but it's just been too many memories I did soldier boy on the field with John Austin it's, it's just been incredible a ton of stuff we'll get you out of here with this you know you couldn't leave without a lot of people wanting to say goodbye to you so we have a little video we have for you God. Lou we gonna miss you Congrats on your future. We wish you the best. We're going to miss the 50 50 girls and seeing you yell. You know, we look forward to it, even though sometimes it kind of hurt our ears here and now. But hey, you are the best at what you do. Lou, we will totally miss you. Your wild antics. It's been great, Lou. We'll miss you. You just take that good positive energy and you're going to be a success wherever you go. Lou, I'm going to miss you. You've been great. Lou, I'm going to miss your loud and annoying voice and you dancing all over the ballpark, but mainly you bringing all of the money to the crabs. We will all miss you. Love you, Lou. Anything else you wanted to say, Lou? Um, thank you, everybody, so much. Oh, my gosh, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. But thank you so much. You know, my parents couldn't be here and didn't see my game, but I'm pretty sure they appreciate all the love that you guys give me since they're not here to love them themselves. So thank you, everybody. I, I love you. That's great. Lou, thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs> Best of luck, whatever the future holds. Thank you so much. Well, now it is time for the Player Profile segment, where this week we head to the mound to take a closer look at a Crabs pitcher who dreams of being like Mike and everything that entails, including underwear advertisements, if need be. We learn more about Crabs Southpaw, Drew Bradshaw. <laughs> My nickname is uh, Shaw. It's because uh, Bradshaw is my last name, so half of it, Shaw. Kids like to call me Shaw. It's easy, quick. At the very moment, I have peanut butter and jelly, and that's it. Right now, right now I'm running low. I mean, 21 years old, been playing baseball my whole life. I know how to play the game, so I guess right now just Going with what I got, gaining my confidence, and just not holding back. That's, that's what I've been working on, not holding back. I guess you could say how well you're looked up to. Everyone, all the kids are all happy to see you, and uh, you're a big influence on their life. And uh, you can do positive things towards them, teach them things, teach them moral values, and they actually listen to you, so it's pretty neat. Michael Jordan, just because he's he's big basketball star, and I don't know, I, I like kind of have a secret like towards basketball, and he seems like a cool guy. And he's always doing those Hanes commercials, and it's kind of funny. Well, for many players, summer league baseball is a time to connect with different athletes, a two-month meet and greet to win games and make memories before heading back to college. And while several of the Crabs have collegiate connections with their teammates, Will Soto and Jared Deacon's baseball friendship stretches through the years all the way to Little League. Well, we knew each other playing in Little League, like 9, 10 years old. We were uh, probably, I think it was like 11 years old, we played on the Elk Grove Travelers together, and that's when it all started. Will Soto says that's where it all started. The year was 2003, and Soto and Jared Deacon were teammates for the first time on the California State Championship team. The youngsters were flown to Canada to compete in the Pacific Northwest Regional Championships, where they finished in third place overall. 
But they weren't done. They donned matching uniforms for Elk Grove High School, where the duo took home the 2007 CIF title for the Thundering Herd. It was pretty sweet. We had a lot of uh, older guys, mature guys that kind of like taught us the way. So I was a freshman and then uh, Jerry was a sophomore, but still it was a really good experience. We had a good time. So flash forward to 2012. I was supposed to go somewhere else and then uh, I knew where he was going. So when I found out I was coming here, I called him right away and like, let's do this. We've always kind of been joking around, like, what if we play on the same summer team? And then he gave me a call one time, uh, like, during school, and then I answered, and he told me how his coach changed him to the Crabs. I got all excited, called Guyver and see if it was true, and then it worked out, so I was pretty excited. It was a fortunate bit of luck, since the process of getting on a summer team isn't exactly up to the players. Kind of up to your head coach with the connections he has and what he feels like you can be successful at, so he kind of sets you up with something, and then hopefully everything works out from there but it was a move the Crabs wanted to make. Matt Nutter says the long-lasting friendship is a commodity that pays off on the field. We knew that coming in, that they'd played basically their whole baseball careers together and very unique situation and you know, they play at different colleges right now, but uh, it's neat to see them reunited here and having a good time and it's something they can carry down the line uh, you know, the rest of their lives when they get together and get together with their kids later in life and you know, talk about the Krabby days. So you know, it's neat to see them out here, they pick each other up, they uh, help each other big time, you know, just little things that they know about each other that uh, helps them if one of them's down or something like that, so it's, it's fun to watch. So for the longtime teammates who have known each other's baseball skills from the beginning, do they ever offer up critiques on one another? I don't ever coach him, he doesn't coach me, I mean, it's kind of like where we're at right now, you can't change the swing now, what you got is what you got. And in this case, the humble Crabs got a pair of great baseball players. We want to thank Dave Soto for providing the Little League and high school footage of Will and Jared. Well, today was the final game of the regular season for the Crabs, and now it's time for the final answer to our question of the week. We asked you, what was the name of the individual who founded the Humboldt Crabs? The answer is Lou Bonamini, and his legacy continues on. His grandson, Garth, plays infield and outfield for the Crustaceans. The winner of the question of the week is Patrick Payton. And Patrick, here is your prize, an autograph ball from the Humboldt Crabs. And if you're lucky, maybe Lou, the 50-50 superstar, will even sign it too. We want to thank her for stopping by the studio and wish her lots of luck in the, Lo in the Lone Star State. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you at the ballpark for some playoff action next weekend.